Welcome to the Wild Axe Ilara. This is our brand new model for 2019. Based on the Mercedes Sprinter, this is, we're describing it as an A-Class in a panel van. So the aim here is to give the absolute utmost in quality and in specification and the utmost in luxury, all in a panel van sized vehicle. So we're using the Mercedes Sprinter long wheelbase, which is just under seven meters long. As standard, we're using the 316 chassis, which is 160 brake horsepower, three and a half ton van. So you've got a lot of poke, you've got a nice powerful engine, but still with good fuel efficiency. The three and a, top, three and a half ton chassis means that everybody can drive it. You're not limited over 70 years old, and you're not limited uh, if you're younger with a, a basic driving license. So we've got a vehicle that everyone can drive, lots of poke, nice and fuel efficient, and most importantly, it's on the Mercedes Sprinter, which if you haven't driven one yet, is by far the best driving vehicle for a motor and build that you can get. I've been in the industry now for quite a long time. We started the company nearly 14 years ago, and over that time I've driven pretty much every van that can be used to build a motorhome and the difference in driving the Mercedes Sprinter is huge. This demonstrator has their seven gear automatic which is absolutely fantastic. In all honesty in my opinion why would you order a manual if you can get something this smooth and this nice to drive. The driving experience is so far removed from all the other manual and automatic gearboxes on offer in vans that you really do need to try it to see exactly what it's like. Vehicle wise specification is very very high so the Mercedes comes with lots of toys and we add lots of toys onto it to make sure you've got everything you need. From all the standard stuff like camera systems, reverse parking systems, you've got uh, satellite navigation, cruise control, air conditioning, it's even got things like electric parking brake and quite a few nice driver aids. Full specification you'll find on our website. So we've got the Mercedes Sprinter at seven meters. We'll have a look around the vehicle in a minute, but the layout is bed at the back, seating and lounge area at the front, with a kitchen and a washroom in the middle of the van. Now what we've tried to do is to give you the best possible sleeping experience that you will get in any motorhome, certainly in any panel. So we've gone to town on the bed area. You've got a nice big six foot six island style double bed in the back. You have two possible layouts, the island style double or two singles with a narrow access way between them for ease of entry into the vans and you can fill that gap in as well. Now one of the big highlights of the bed area is the mattress. We've custom made a pocket sprung mattress for our beds in the Alara and you really do need to sit on it or lie on it to try it out and make sure that you understand just how comfortable this is. It's very 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 different to any of the foam mattresses that you'll see in the majority of motorhomes and certainly in the majority of van based motorhomes. Storage wise you've got storage under the beds, we put the water tank and the batteries under the bed at the back. Now specification on the Mercedes is great and we've tried to mirror that on the motorhome build. So you've got a 120 litre fresh water tank which is inside the van for winterization purposes. You've got two 100 amp hour leisure batteries as standard. The waste tank is a nice big one, it's 80 litres, it's underneath the van. Gas comes from a refillable tank and we've put a nice large one on, it's 40 litre refillable tank on, on the Alara as standard. Now we have um, lots and lots of custom made panels around the van. What we try to do in this motorhome is start afresh. <clears throat> so you haven't got aspects of other models we make cobbled together in a different layout, which is quite normal for the motorhome industry. What you have got in this, every single panel we make for this van is bespoke to this van. There's lots of custom made curve panels. You've got a brand new custom made fiberglass shower tray. We put in the 
new Thetford porcelain toilet and it's not just an internal porcelain liner it's a whole porcelain toilet we've got an induction hob in the kitchen in addition to gas you will have a large 142 litre fridge freezer fully automatic works on three ways so it's gas and electric you've got an oven and a grill as standard which in a lot of European brands you won't find and storage is very very good you've got ample storage around the top of the van storage under the bed kitchen storage is very very good as well so what we'll do is we'll have a little look around different areas of the van we'll have a look in the storage areas and see some of the specific aspects of the van okay so to access the storage under the bed it's a very simple lift mechanism grab hold of the metal part of the frame there and you can see I'm just using my fingertips just lift it up very very easy You've got two gas struts that take the effort out of lifting the bed. The mattress itself is actually fairly heavy, but with the gas struts, it's very, very simple to access. OK, so let's have a little look underneath the bed. So as you can see, you've got some large box storage areas for your shoes and things like that. Just behind that's the water tank. That's a 120 litre fresh water tank. And behind that, you've got the two leisure batteries. To the rear of the van, as you can see, there's quite a large storage area which is accessed through the rear doors. Then just simply get hold of the frame and lower it back down again. Very, very simple to move. Either side of the mattress, you've got storage areas through these lids. And then as you can see, just underneath the wardrobe areas, there are switches and charging points. You've got USB charging and mains chargers on both sides. The light switches that you can see there operate the lights in the rear of the van and a bit like the light switches that you'll see at home on your stairs where you can turn them off upstairs and downstairs there are two-stage switch so you can use them at the front or the rear of the van. Okay so let's have a look at the kitchen now. So in the Alara what we wanted to do is to offer a flexible approach to where and how you can use the motorhome. So one of the first things we decided to do was to install a hybrid unit in the kitchen for the hob. So this is the brand new Thetford combination induction hob. So it's got an electric induction ring and two gas rings. We also have a gas oven and grill. So in terms of power usage, if you're on a site, you're going to use electricity. So you've got the induction hob for that. Your fridge works on electricity because it's a three-way fridge. Your heating and hot water work on electricity as well because we use the Truma Combi. So everything in the van is using electricity so your gas usage is minimal if you're on a site. But conversely if you're out in the field, you're living off-grid, you've got gas for everything. So you've got the gas burners, the gas oven, the fridge is three-way so it works on gas as well. Your heating and hot water work on gas. The gas is supplied from our LPG tank so it's a permanently mounted 40 litre LPG tank underneath the van. 40 litres is a good amount of gas. It's more you'll find on most motorhomes. So this means that you've got the opportunity for extended usage between fill-ups. And if you're not familiar with it, filling up with LPG is actually very, very straightforward. The petrol stations around the country that have LPG, you just drive in and fill up a little bit like using a diesel pump. And you'll find that most main towns in the UK have got LPG um, fill-up stations. It's a little bit more scarce as you go into the top of Scotland, but the rest of the, uh, the UK you'll find that there's always one within a reasonable drive. And because you've got a big tank, if you've not uh, got one right near you, it really doesn't matter. Just plan ahead a little bit. There's a gauge that shows you how much tank is in the gas, so it's very straightforward to know how often you need to fill it up. And one of the beauties is, Rather than having a gas bottle, you've got to wait till it's empty to put gas in it. With a refillable tank, you can top it up whenever you want. So if you're driving down the motorway, a lot of the service stations sell LPG, you can just pop in and fill up. So we've got the hybrid unit here. The sink unit is a nice sink unit. So you've got a few little accessories. You've got a bowl, a drainer, cutting board.
We'll have a little look at the tap separately as well because the tap's got some nice little features on it as well. Worktop space. There's a fold up worktop at the end of the kitchen unit and then you've got a fold down worktop here. We use Domestic Formica as our laminate for the worktops so it's very durable. You're not going to have problems putting hot items down on it. And this worktop actually holds up using magnets so it's nice uh, and easy to use. There's no rattles, nothing to go wrong. Storage all around the top of the van. Our cupboards are nice big deep cupboards so you've got a lot of storage space in here. Our custom formed curved doors provide a nice finish. We make these in-house and the catches that we use are a no rattle catch so once you close the cupboard door there's no movement whatsoever. So our vans when you drive them down the road should be nice and quiet. One of the big complaints we get from customers with some types of motorhomes is noise from the motorhome conversion itself. And often that noise comes from cupboard doors rattling. Our doors won't make that noise. Here you can see our tap. Little gimmick, but it's a nice thing to have. You can see it goes green when the water flows. And the little light in the end changes colour dependent upon the temperature. As the water gets warmer, you'll see it starts to turn to a blue colour. And when the water's hot, it'll turn red. Thanks very much for having a look at our new motorhome, the Wild Axilara. For more information, click on our website here and it'll take you to lots more information, videos, 3D walk rounds and some photos. Thank you.